I actually forgot to mention or do a follow up on how I made the brownies. Um, so I'm sorry, but actually, like it's actually made. It's like it's actually started to cool down now. Um, so I'll actually just tell you quickly what I put in. Uh, so here is the brownie. They actually took longer than I anticipated um, because my mix was very wet. Now, I'll tell you why it was wet in a second. Um, here it is. And there, my brownie is actually, it's, the, it's quite light in colour. So I wanted to make a brownie that was... It was more like fluffy rather than gooey. So instead of like just hand mixing it or whatever, I actually decided to like use a hand like electric um, whisker um, so that it would go like fluffy and like smooth rather than gooey, if that makes sense. Um, and the reason it's the colour that it is is because um, the recipe that I was choosing to follow had said to put two bananas in and I actually um, I actually decided to put four bananas in making my mix a whole lot wetter um, but it means that it's um, it's gonna have really really have the banana flavor which actually I actually wanted that more because the recipe asked for so much sugar you know me, if it asks for a cup of sugar, I'm not putting a cup of sugar in, that's disgusting. I'll be putting a half cup of sugar in and I've put two bananas in. The bananas are sweet, that'll like, that's like an, an alternative to having all that flipping sugar. So it's like reasonably like a wee bit more healthier. It will have a different texture. It'll have like a more almost like a bread kind of style texture. But, I'm sorry, but it's not happening. That's just, it's just too much sugar. It's totally disgusting. Um, so, uh, and I also, instead of marbling, um, I did really, really doctor my um, brownie recipe in quite a big way. I actually changed it and made it my own because that's kind of like what cooking's all about. But instead of like marbling the... Um, the peanut butter on top once I've like distributed it in the tray that I'm going to bake it in, I actually decided to blend the butter, the hot butter that goes in the brownie mix with the peanut butter so that it's like, it's like all like, it ha it's all mixed in consistently. So it's like, it's not like you get a wee taste of this or you get a wee taste of that. It's all one whole batch made, like, cons it's all like the same consistency. It's like, it's full, it's not like gooey. I know that's what brownies are supposed to be like, but like, as I said, I wanted to change it and make maybe like a wee bit of a healthier kind of version. Something that's maybe like a wee bit more spongy. Mine hasn't sank. So like, it, it, like I said, it is more like a cake. Um, but... I still put chocolate chips in it. So it's chocolate chips, it is banana, and it's peanut butter with less sugar, a wee bit of salt, sea salt. So it's gonna like, um, it's gonna be good. And I'm actually gonna try a wee piece of the new. Where's my knife? Aha. Right, okay, so here we go. It obviously, like, because my batter was so, um, because my batter was so wet, that's why it took, took as long as what it did. So, it's like totally, totally like, <laughs> it's totally like a banana loaf.
That's totally no cooked. So that was a wee bit of an epic fail. It tastes really, really good. But I'm going to have to put that back in the oven. Because that's like mush. So, um... <laughs> it does taste really, really good. So, um... That was a fail. Um, but that's what it's all about. Trial, trial and error, bro. Um, so it's really good, but it's just like mush. Way too, the batter was obviously like way too um, wet. So I'll put it in the oven again and see if it can like cook a wee bit longer. Even though it was in for like 40 minutes, um, I buy.